What up, guys? How you doing this afternoon? Wanted to go live before I shut it down for today because I want to uh, possibly prevent anyone that is going to be in the process of buying a home and have that effort derailed because um, you have undisclosed debt. As lenders, one of the main things that we're trying to do, okay, is determine your ability to uh, repay the loan, okay? And so with that said, uh, we want to make sure that uh, you have or we have all of the undisclosed debt that may show up on your credit report. So uh, you guys have heard us, heard me over the years, always harping on get approved, get approved properly, properly, properly. But I, I really want to uh, encourage you again, once you have finally made a decision to say, hey, I'm going to move forward. I'm going to look to purchase a home. Don't sabotage yourself because of undisclosed debt okay and that is the uh, that is the the reason for the video today so hello to whoever that is if you have any questions while we're watching don't hesitate to uh, to put the questions in and if you know someone that this might help uh, share you know what they say sharing is caring so uh, let's get into it so the accounts that I'm seeing a lot of here recently are a firm, after pay, and why well, did that backwards, right? Klarna. Klarna, after pay, and a firm. And there's nothing wrong with having these accounts. I, what I'm gathering is folks are using these types of accounts because maybe you've had some type of credit challenges in the past, or you may be even thinking that by having these types of accounts, they are going to help you reestablish credit. Uh, I, I want to caution you again to make sure that whoever is giving you this information or walking you down these paths, that they really understand uh, what they're doing, especially if you're looking to potentially purchase a home, right? Because a firm is showing up on the credit report, okay? Uh, but the problem that I'm seeing with a firm is that uh, the balances are not always accurate. And when we look at your bank statement and we see those recurring costs, I've had this happen just this week, that we had some pretty hefty monthly payments and monthly payments that are supposed to show up on the credit report, i.e. cause the debt to income ratio to be out of line and, you know, another one bites the dust. So these are things that are very important and you want to catch up front before, okay, before it is that you go out spend money on earnest option inspection things of that nature because it's going to come up guys it's going to come up sooner or later so again let me do it like this um uh these are the accounts right that you do not want to have uh um give me a second here while we're live let's do this do 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 you don't want to have these accounts showing up all right. Um, while you're trying to to qualify for a home loan, so uh, apologize for the uh, on the fly. Again, didn't expect to uh, to 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 necessarily be before you, but uh, let's do it like this. So um, again, guys, affirm. Seeing that a lot on credit reports, and. The balances are not always represented correctly. Okay. Afterpay. 
don't see the balance reported on the credit report. Um, and these are those buy now, pay later accounts. Um, you guys are grown, you know, I, I'm assuming you know what you're doing. Make sure you understand the interest rates and stuff on those things, but that's your business. Bottom line, looking to purchase a home, you don't want to get a or have a gotcha that might not come up, especially if you're going other places where they're really not qualifying you up front. Uh, just had a deal last week. My, I've had heartburn all weekend because, uh, you know, these folks got down to the finish line and, and there's little things that folks are doing that are just killing their deals. And it's at no fault of, um, uh oh, it's at no fault, pardon, pardon me, it's at no fault of uh, the lender or the realtor or anything of that nature. You guys cannot shoot yourself in the foot. So again, if you're going with other lenders that aren't necessarily looking at bank statements and things of that nature, I'm letting you know up front so you can do your own due diligence and make sure you have these things in, in tow because we're going to want to see those statements, the most recent statement to make sure that you don't have any balance because again, Afterpay is not reporting to the credit report, nor is Klarna. Okay. Klarna is not reporting either. So that's what I wanted to um, talk about briefly uh, this afternoon before or this evening before I got out of here, just to give you a heads up so that you don't sabotage yourself when it comes to, you know, you getting into a home. It's hard enough. And for some folks, you know, you, you've done a lot of work. You've gotten yourself in position. We, we may have negotiated with a seller. You know, uh, everything is lined up and you don't want something like this to bite you uh, in the end because uh, at the end of the day, you know, if your credit can't get it, then we can't do the loan. Bottom line. So if we could be of any assistance to you, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, you can hit the link in the description. Schedule a consultation. Let I think you really should start there. Had a call uh, earlier today before I let you go. And very good questions. Uh, but it's still a misnomer that you can only apply with one place. And, and as I was discussing with the, the lady on the line that called, I said, you know, one of the reasons people don't apply is because of the documentation. It's just that big mental hurdle with the documentation. So with that, uh, I want to cordially invite you to the home show this week. OK, this Thursday is when uh, 7 p.m. is when the show is going to go live because uh, we're going to be talking about documentation. And that's, you know, it's old, but it keeps rearing its ugly head. And just like the video tonight, this is a documentation type thing. So uh, that's what I believe these Internet streets should be used for to, to give you a heads up. So you have good information so that you can take the appropriate steps and not find yourself in a bad position, especially uh, when you're thinking you're going to be moving into your no home. So Thursday, 7 p.m. CST, the home show talking about documentation. You guys, my time is up, but I thank you for yours. Hey, as I always say, let's be good to one another. Let us let grace abound. And y'all have a lovely evening. Peace.